Hey everybody, how you doing? I am Mr. Bookman, and today I will be reading Santa Claus Short Poems from the North Pole by Bob Rank Cuz and illustrated by Chuck Gronick. Please enjoy. Santa Claus, short poems from the North Pole. Santa Claus is a man of many talents. He's a toy maker, a reindeer trainer, a sl slave pilot, and a world traveler, but did you know he's also a poet? Years ago, Mrs. Claus gave him a book of Hai Gui, a Japanese form of poultry. Each Hai Gui is just three lines long, with five syllables in the first line, seven in the second, five in the third. Santa loved these poems. He was even inspired to write his own. Now you can peek at Santa's Hai Gui for each day of December 1st till December 25th and catch a glimpse of life at the North Pole. Hear the snow crunch, smell the gingerbread, and see a, a side of Santa you never seen before. December 1st Wishes blowing in from overfilled mailbox. December 1st storm. December 2nd. A snow hare admires my cute little snow elf. His nose especially. December 3rd. Mrs. Claus making an angel. Becoming a little girl again. December 4th, sprinkling sand on my snow-covered steps, thinking of nutmeg on eggnog. December 5th, I untied knots and strings of lights while Mrs. Claus ties bows on presents. December 6. Replacing bad bobs with good ones. Moving naughty names to the nice list. December 7th. Negativity by the stars. Comet and I dragged this year's tree homeward. December 8th, just after moonrise, I met my tall, skinny twin. Good evening, Shadow. December 9th, elves pounding, sawing, and sanding a holiday concert performance. December 10th, the north wind and I whistled to let it snow on the radio. December the 11th. Kisses from Mrs. Claus under the mistletoe. Tickled little snowflakes. December 12th. Stringing popcorn to hang on the tree. One for the string and two for me. December 13th, Mother Nature trims her trees with icicle snow, pine cones, and moonlight. December 14th, clouds of reindeer breath in the barn, steam rising from hot 
chocolate. December 15th. 100 strings of outdoor lights can't compete with tonight's aurora. December 16th. Dripping snow freezes into icicle cookies. Bake in the oven. December 17th. Sitting by the fire reading a Christmas carol. Listening for ghost. December 18th. Mrs. Claus and I wrapped neatly in our bed quilts matching packages. December 19th. Fat White fox at the salt lick. While I lick the stamps off my candy cane. I mean, the stripes off my candy cane. December 20th. Workshop storm warning. In effect, heavy snow, sawdust accumulations. December 21st, silent night expected for the distant carolers howling at the moon. December 22nd, reading the reindeer's favorite bedtime story, My Cold Nose Glows Red. December 23rd, shelf after shelf of exhausted elves asleep in their triple deck bunks. December 24th, which is packed tighter, the sack full of toys or the red suit full of me? December 25th, from my flying sleigh, I look down on fields and towns, a toy train layout. Well, wasn't that a cute Christmas story? Yeah, was Christmas good for any of you out there? Let me know in the comment box if Christmas was good for you and oh, what did you get for Christmas? Just uh, curious. And do you still have your tree up? Well, let me know in the comment box as well if you still have your tree up. I know a lot of people take their trees down after Christmas and uh, some keep it up until after New Year's and then take them down. But when do you guys take them down? your tree down. Let me know. Let me know what you got for Christmas. Me, let's say I got me a game, a video game, so I could play on my PS4 and got a CB radio and a crock pot and that, that was it. And a basket of fruit. Well everyone, if you enjoyed the story, please let me know if you did and if you didn't. Please let me know why you didn't. But I, again, thanks for watching. Y'all take it easy. Have a fantastic one. This is Mr. Bookman. And this book reading is over.